Hello kids, Daddy's here. Right now, Daddy will show you an erotic romantic thriller film from 1992, titled Bitter Moon. Prepare your snacks to feel the cringe and crunch. Be a good kid and subscribe to Daddy's channel. Spoilers ahead. Watch out. The film begins with a British couple, Nigel and Fiona, are traveling to India from Istanbul on a cruise ship. When Fiona uses the bathroom, she meets Mimi, a stunning French woman who experiences seasickness. She calls his husband and they help her to recover. In the evening, Nigel sees Mimi dancing alone in the ship's bar. She teases him by acting she never saw him that afternoon. Later, Nigel meets Mimi's husband, Oscar. He is an American, much older than Mimi and crippled husband who is a bitter, cynical, and jaded failing writer. Oscar reveals that his crippled happened because of Mimi. Oscar invites Nigel to his cabin and goes into great detail about how he and Mimi first met. They first encountered each other in a bus in Paris. Mimi doesn't have a bus ticket. Oscar notices this and gives her his bus ticket, which leaves him without a ticket, resulting him thrown out from the bus. After that encounter, he finds it difficult to concentrate on his writing and is always imagining Mimi's face. In an effort to find her, Oscar makes repeated trips on the bus route where he encountered Mimi. Unfortunately, none of his attempts were worthwhile. One day, when he is having a dinner with a random girl, it turns out that Mimi is the waitress. He runs to the kitchen and asks her if she remember him. Mimi recalled his kind act on the bus. Then, Oscar asks her for a date and she agrees. The next day, they are going on a date in a restaurant. Oscar makes her laugh by his silly jokes. Mimi reveals that she kept the ticket which she had given her, making Oscar believe that she is the one. Oscar took her to his place and in front of the fireplace, they make love. Oscar reveals that they were stayed at his place, locked up from the outside world for three days due to their drunkenness with love. Even as they are eating breakfast, Mimi seduces Oscar, leading to lovemaking in the kitchen. After that, Oscar describes Mimi's body's part which makes Nigel uncomfortable, making him to leave. The next day, Nigel tells Fiona about Oscar's story from the previous night, which made her wonder what type of husband would describe his wife in such detail to a total stranger. At lunch, Oscar joins them while Mimi goes to dine with the captain. Oscar compliments Fiona on her beauty and requests her permission to borrow his husband again. Later in his story, Oscar describes how they start to experiment in bed. He describes the odd things they did, which made Nigel uncomfortable and caused him to make an attempt to leave. However, Nigel is able to calm him down and continues his story. One day, when Oscar becomes frustrated with his book, they visit a club where they meet Mimi's American friend. However, he flirts too much with Mimi's friend, which makes her jealous. Mimi responds by dancing with another man, with whom she then shares a kiss. Seeing this, Oscar gets hurt and goes back home. Mimi returns home later, sobbing and asking why he left without saying anything. She asks Oscar for forgiveness after he has explained her mistake. The next day, Nigel and Fiona encounter another passenger, Mr. Singh and his daughter. Mr. Singh inquiries if they also had a child. In response, Fiona says that Nigel does not want to have children because the earth is already overpopulated. Fiona, on the other hand, wants a child. Mimi stops Nigel as he returns to his cabin to get a coat. She claims that Nigel shouldn't believe whatever Oscar says since he is a sick man. Then, she invites him tonight to her cabin. When he enters Mimi's cabin, it's all dark. He takes her hand and kisses it, but surprisingly, it's Oscar's hand. After she left, Oscar explains that Mimi likes Nigel, and she wants Oscar to tell him their entire story. Nigel has had enough, but Oscar claims that if he listens to the entire story, he can sleep with Mimi. They have numerous arguments after the incident at the club, which is a sign that their romance is over. He doesn't seem to care that she's threatening to leave him. She then packs her belongings and bids him a final goodbye, but he is too busy with writing. Mimi returns and begs for his forgiveness again since she can't bear to leave him. One morning during breakfast, they get into a heated argument, and Oscar hits her as a result. Luckily, she is alright. One night, when Mimi praises their relationship, Oscar admits that they're lousy with each other. Although Mimi wants to get married to him and have his children, he wants to end this. He continues by saying he despises her existence and ends their relationship. She leaves crying. Oscar rediscovers his life by having a good time at the club. When he returns home, Mimi is waiting for him. She cries out for him to take her back, but he doesn't care anymore to her. 
She clings to his legs while begging that she will do anything. He takes her in since he has no other option and is determined to make things a living hell for her, so she will leave on her own. Mimi cuts her hair and shows Oscar, but he doesn't seem to care and instead talks on the phone about another woman. She then makes him a turkey, but he insults her cooking and walks away without even trying a bite. Oscar insults Mimi's hair and this time without any sympathy by calling it, like a dog's neighbor, in front of the women he flirts with, making her cries. Mimi cleans Oscar's apartment in an effort to be a good girl for him. However, Oscar yells at her and accuses her of being unable to focus because of what she is doing. She stops what she is doing and starts crying. One day, Oscar takes Mimi on a holiday with her on a plane. He then makes an excuse, pretending to have a stomachache, and boards the aircraft, leaving Mimi behind. Mimi finally realizing that Oscar abandoned her. Nigel says that Oscar should be ashamed to tell this story about what he did to Mimi to a total stranger. Mimi is waiting for Nigel outside and asks whether he is still upset with her. He kisses her and asks if they can be alone together. She instructs him to hear the entire Oscar's story first. After taking his wife to sleep in their cabin, Nigel returns to Oscar's cabin to hear his story again. Oscar regains his freedom after getting rid of Mimi. He begins going to every club in Paris to sleep with hot women. One day, when he persuades a woman to do it with him, he is unexpectedly hit by a bus. He survives, but he sustains a fractured leg and concussion. None of the women he met came to visit her. Mimi unexpectedly comes to see him. She has changed so much that she now looks like a supermodel but Oscar orders her to disappear from his life. She extends her hand as a final goodbye. When he shakes her hand, she pulls him out of bed, resulting him crippled. Oscar's world is changing right now. Mimi makes the decision to care for the crippled Oscar. She didn't, however, forget how he had treated her like trash. She seizes the chance to get revenge on him. Beginning from the time his editor calls and Mimi informs him that he is ill, resulting him to loses his opportunity to promote his book. Then she leaves him to spend the night with a man in a club. Without Mimi's assistance, he pissed in his pants in the morning. He receives a birthday gift from Mimi, it's a gun. One day, Mimi invites her attractive dance partner to dinner and flirts with him. They dance together in an attempt to make Oscar jealous, then they move to the next room to make loud lovemaking. Oscar who can't do nothing just sit there and hears Mimi's moaning. The final noteworthy event in his story is the couple's later marriage in spite of their hatred for one another. The situation has improved, but Oscar continues to live in fear. On New Year's Eve, the ship thrown a party. Nigel meets Mimi and they dance together. He moves in for a kiss, but Mimi turns him away and claims the story is still unfinished. Fiona comes there right at that moment, having overcome her seasickness. Nigel tries to explain to her, but she already knew what he was up to. Instead, Fiona goes and dances sensually with Mimi. Mimi and Fiona leave the party after 12 o'clock has passed. Nigel goes to his cabin later, but Oscar is already there. The two girls are sleeping and Oscar continues to admire Fiona's shape, which causes Nigel to choke him out of rage. But Oscar points a gun at him and declares that Nigel is not deserving of hearing the remainder of his story. Then he shoots Mimi before shooting himself. Outside, Fiona and Nigel are hugging can't believe what they just went through. That's all for today kids. Help daddy by like and subscribe. See you on the next videos.